I'm with Emily Pringer from Coldwater, um, who recently finished our, the 100 backstroke plus other races today. And Emily, I was talking with your mom, and wow, you have been through so much. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened last year during swim season? Uh, we were on our way home from our practice, which is uh, in the Auglaes Mercer County YMCA, and we have to drive all the way home. And it was dark out, and we ended up hitting a tractor from behind. Um, and I, I ended up getting care flighted along with another girl on our team and the person we hit. And there were five of us in the car total, I guess. Um, but we're all back to normal now, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> but life has changed a little bit for you. Yeah. So obviously your swim season was over last year at yeah. that point. Did you think that there was a chance you wouldn't be able to swim again? There was always that in the back of my head. We had to go through a lot of doctor's appointments between, like, for my neck because I fractured my skull. And I was wow, in a neck brace. Wow, fractured your skull. Yeah. I was in a neck brace for 21 weeks and two and a half days. Oh. Um, we went back for many doctor's visits. And the first couple ones, you're hopeful. And then the next ones, you're like, oh, I'm going to have to stay in it. And then they told me once I got my neck brace off that I wouldn't be able to swim over the summer, which was yeah, not what I was expecting. Summer is a fun time to swim. Yeah. The summer league is fun. Yeah. It always is, yeah. And I, I, I was hoping to, like, just get back into the water, but that didn't happen. And then in October, they told me that I was allowed to swim again, mm. but there's been a little bit of a wrench thrown into that. But I'm still swimming, and so... <laughs> How did it feel when you were able to get back in the water? Oh, I was so happy. I started crying whenever they told me I was allowed to. Because um, swim has always been my first love. Um, I've always just felt at home, as cheesy as it sounds, whenever I'm in the pool. So it, it was just great. <laughs> but things have changed a bit. Your diving has changed. Yeah. How have things changed for you now? Uh, I'm not allowed to dive into the pool, so I have to start in the water, slide in, and then do a start off the wall for anything that's not backstroke, but backstroke I'm allowed doing. Um, I'm al I have to be cautious when doing my flip turns to make sure that my head stays where it's supposed to be. And then other than that, I just have hip problems, but that hurts. But my coach always tells me that if it's not going to kill me, it'll just make me stronger. Mm -hmm. So what an exciting thing. Your senior season may not be exactly what you had planned on, yeah. but yet here you are. And you know, there's a lot more than just winning, isn't yeah. there? So much more, so much more. My team's my family. I couldn't do anything without them. They're amazing. Oh, Emily, well, we are excited to see how you are recovering, to see the progress, and to see you in the water. Um, that is great, and we're so thankful that your life was spared in that accident. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much for the interview. Thank you.